kitchen. Tonight's guest, Mr. Andrew Grimm of June Star. We're gonna make some chicken, but not just any chicken. We're gonna make something I like to call Maria's chicken. It's chicken with a story. And then we're gonna shoot the breeze about rock and roll and music. Andrew's gonna play us a song. So strap in, hang on, and let's make Maria's chicken. Sunday she would make this chicken and she would bring me a plate of it into the office with fresh grilled tortillas and I would eat it and, and every Sunday I grew more to love this chicken and I love this chicken this chicken is fantastic and I would start to look forward to it to the point where I didn't even care that I was working on a Sunday because I knew <laughs> that I was gonna go in there and get this plate of chicken sure sure well Maria got pregnant uh, with her second child uh -huh. and Okay, whatever. It's, it's, I'm gonna keep getting my chicken. And then she got bigger, <laughs> bigger, <laughs> and then gone. Right. She was three month maternity leave. Congratulations. Good for you. I'm so happy for you. Right. And that first Sunday comes along. No chicken. Oh, jeez. What the hell? <laughs> so another Sunday goes by. No chicken. I had to take matters into my own hands. I knew the ingredients, so I went home and I started playing around uh -huh. every week. And I would make this chicken. You could ask my wife. I would make this chicken until I got what I considered. Then I would bring it to work, give it to the other employees that were friends of hers. Like, taste this. Does it taste like Maria's chicken? Does it taste like Maria's chicken? And they be like, "Oh, this is good." And one girl said, "This is better than Maria's chicken." And I said, "All right." Ooh, does Maria know that? And she does now. started in 1998 I was in another band called Factory Horse and when that fizzled out because um, I think I drove it a little a little too hard I was very like we gotta play this gig so everyone kind of burned out um, then we started June Star in 1998 and we put out a record the next year and then we've just been kind of going ever since like we're we're just too stubborn to, to stop playing 
and I was like, um, I keep writing, I keep, you know, ideas keep showing up, so, um, and the first couple years were really cool, and then, like, we plateaued, we did a, we had a small label deal from a band, or with a, with a label in Vermont, and then that was okay, but it wasn't, didn't vault us up to the next right. tier. Uh, we kind of plateaued in 98. Been very comfortable there ever since, apparently. Um, but then, like, you know, members come and go, and, and we just try to keep a, a good, solid lineup now. Okay. It's, it's, it's not as exciting as it. I mean, I, I imagine there will be a sort of biopic at some point. But probably, <laughs> probably not. Who would play you? Whew. Well, you know, if you asked me like three years ago, I would have said James Franco. Well, now it's Seth Rogen. It is Seth Rogen. You know, it's, I'm just gonna reposition this guitar a little bit because I'm self-conscious. Um, I don't know who would play me. I mean, I don't know if it would be that interesting of a story. It's like, I mean, to me, it's just kind of like I keep showing up every day. Like you, 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 you watch if you watch rock and roll documentaries or people are like, like, ah, oh, man, you know, yeah, it was a landmark record, but we just kept kind of showing up and like, you know, going at it every day. You know, it was like. Like, it wasn't very exciting, you know, and then some people were like, I was drunk the entire time, and I was like, I'm not, I'm only drunk like a quarter of the time, <laughs> and uh, I just kind of keep showing up, I just keep showing up and playing shows and making friends and networking and, you know. I get the phoenix, I can rest my heart. It's been beating for the both of us It's tearing me apart Smoke and diesel Keep me away from you When these wheels don't roll anymore I don't know what I do Well, I got you Next to me, half a mile's a year. I'm looking for a way to separate. Keep both hands on the wheel. I heard that you walked away from your career to pursue music full time. As mm -hmm. I mean, tell me about that. Um. Yeah, I taught high school English for 20 years, and um, public school out in Carroll County. Um, I had quit earlier too, I, I quit in 2001, which was ill-advised. Um, I was not emotionally <laughs> ready to do that, and I wasn't anywhere near uh, as good of a performer as I am now, so that was kind of stupid. And so I went right back into the system, and then in 2010, um, I quit again uh, to go out and um, I don't know if the stakes were as high, but like my living situation was different and it just didn't work out. Going back to teaching again, and then this time, I think I got to a point where I was like, you know what, I'm getting, I'm, I'm now 44. I'm like, I'm not getting any, any younger with, with, with this stuff. I was like, why don't I just, I don't know, I, I, I want to try it. I wasn't happy with my job anymore, and I think if there's one thing that I could ever impress upon young people now or even older people now if you don't like your job anymore or if you don't like if aspects of your job aren't doing what you wanted to do quit go do something else man go do something that makes you happy um you know i mean I, you know, don't get caught in the trap of like well i need this x amount of money it's like well yeah sort of but you know you're just killing yourself slowly all right keep showing up to a job you hate so so i'm trying this and so far i'm I really like it. Excellent. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can still speak her name and taste her on your lips.
inside your heart leaves nothing but a hole. Scorching like hot, like you know, I'm breathing flames, or the enamel of my teeth is melting, or right. you know, or I'm rethinking my life, or I'm on some sort of Chintaqua vision quest. <laughs> but it's like you know, what, what is it, what Homer uh, eats like the, the the crazy hot pepper, right. and then he goes out in the desert, and Johnny Cash is the spirit animal. But um, but it was like this nice heat that was like really elevated for a long time, and just like maybe three minutes ago, it could be it could be this. 8.6 percent beer that we're drinking. That's because <laughs> I'm getting a little loopy. But um, but that's the stuff that like I mean like I that that heat is just now starting to kind of like come down. Right. And um, it's a really cool kind of effect. I don't think of food like that too often. But it was really it was, it was very flavorful at the same time. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Maria. For <laughs> thank you, Maria. <laughs> this is really your supersonic kitchen. <laughs> My sugar don't act so sweet She'll make you old She slips between your teeth Leaves nothing but a hole You can feel her at the root Even in your sleep No matter how strong you are Want something sweet? Even if you pull them out, she's gonna win. You can still speak her name and taste her on your lips. My sugar don't act so nice. Would you expect a pretty girl and an easy love and no regrets? My sugar don't act so sweet that she'll make you old. She slides inside your heart, leaves nothing but a hole. Jimmy Swope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's a wrap.